Say you're photographing small products or jewelry and you want to eliminate or greatly reduce the amount of reflection that you're getting off that item. And you can also greatly enhance the color balance when you're photographing things like gold and silver. There's a big difference because many times the traditional way of photographing those items may not be the best way. Even sometimes you can use, and I still use my light tent quite a bit, but there's other ways. There's another way that I'm going to show you, and this actually is quite simple because we're going to be using just one light source along with a light modifier that's going to greatly enhance your images. The light source that we're going to be using is a continuous light source, which means it's on all the time versus a flash. And it's an LED light, the CN126, and relatively inexpensive. It's adjustable and it also comes with all different filters that you can get depending on the light source that you're mixing it with, but very, very useful and very easy to do. And we're also going to be using, and this is very important, it's about a 30 inch diffuser that I have attached to a light stand here. I have this one mounted onto an arm assembly that you can get. And I tried using all different sizes. And this one to me is, is the proper size for small products. And I tried using a larger one. It's a bit awkward. But this will be good. This size is, is excellent for doing small products like watches, rings, that type of thing. So if we take this off this arm assembly, it's very, very light, easy to work with. And if you're working with an assistant, it's quite simple to just hold. So let's take a look at how we're going to be using that one light source, the LED light source, along with our 30 inch diffuser. One thing that you want to be aware of, you can see this little bar back here. So try to avoid, although it's kind of soft, but you can see sometimes a little bit of a shadow off this bar. So you just want to make sure that the light flows onto your item smoothly without this little obstruction here. So let's put the watch down and let's photograph it. What a beautiful lighting, beautiful soft lighting. Now let's photograph it first without the diffuser here. As we photograph the watch using just this one light, you can see the harshness, very, very harsh, not really attractive at all. So now you can see the results are so much nicer when we're using our diffuser on top of it. And it doesn't really matter. I tried using several different cameras. The, my Nikon digital SLR, I've used a mirrorless, I've used an iPod, so it doesn't much matter. However, one thing to be aware of when you're using a continuous light source like this, you may not have enough power to get a fast shutter speed out of this. So you may want to use a tripod to avoid camera shake. Makes a big difference.